There are approximately 100,000 bacteria living on every square centimetre of our skin. On average, your skin renews itself every 28 days. Frogs shed their skin on a regular basis to keep clean. Some do it every day. And after they've pulled it off, they swallow it. But frogs can't swallow without blinking because they use their eyeballs to help push food into their stomachs. The stomach of many starfish is actually ejected out of their mouths, then they engulf their prey, pre-digest it, and suck the whole thing back in again. Starfish are not actually fish, and killer whales are not whales either. They are dolphins. And believe it or not, dolphins can call each other by name. Dolphins can also recognise themselves in the mirror as can elephants, chimpanzees, and their close relatives, bonobos, who also resolve their differences through sex rather than violence. Bacteria replicate by cloning themselves, and they can do it so fast that theoretically a single bacteria could produce more offspring than there are protons in the entire universe. So if this 5p was the sun, then this grain of sugar would be the Earth, and they'd be about that far apart. There are thought to be 400 billion stars in our galaxy. If this 5p were the sun, and this 5p were the next nearest star, they'd be, actually they'd be 400 kilometers apart, that's 250 miles. NASA estimates that one object of space junk returns to the Earth every day. So if this 10p coin was our galaxy, the Milky Way, and this 10p coin was our nearest big neighbor, the Andromeda galaxy, they'd actually only be about that far apart. It's thought that there's a septillion stars in the observable universe. That's a one followed by 24 zeros. It's estimated that there are 100 trillion atoms in every human cell, and there's thought to be 100 trillion cells in the average human body. We lose around 30 to 40,000 skin cells every single minute, but while it's a waste product for us, dead skin is the main food source for mites. So, not surprisingly, these mites can be extremely numerous. Your pillow may be home to 40 million of them. The average age of a pillow is six years, by which time around 10% of its weight will be made up of dead skin, mites and mite dung. But cows produce up to 114 litres of dung every day. It would take two cows just 24 hours to fill your average bathtub with poop. And just like humans, cows actually have regional accents. There's thought to be about 1.4 billion of them across the globe, and they produce as much as 340 litres of methane each every day. Do you know that cows sleep standing up with their eyes open, just like me? Example. <laughs> but they have to lay down to dream. When you sit down, you are not actually sitting. You're actually levitating just a tiny little bit, about one-tenth of a millionth of a millimetre. This levitating frog demonstrates that all materials have a degree of magnetism. By surrounding the frog in a bitter electromagnet, it seems to float within the magnetic field. Our planet's magnetic field is thought to come from the hot flow of molten iron beneath the Earth's surface. And deep in the centre of the Earth, the extreme pressure converts this molten iron into a solid state, despite being nearly 6,000 Kelvin. Under extreme pressures, about 5 million atmospheres, you can actually make diamonds from peanut butter. 99% of all the gold on Earth is actually located in its core. But there's enough of it that if you were to take it out, you could form a layer around the whole globe 45 centimetres thick. That is remarkable, especially when you consider that in the whole history of human gold extraction, we've only pulled out two Olympic swimming pool sized portions of gold from this earth. So gold isn't actually that rare, certainly not compared to the element astatine. Across the entire earth's crust, there's just 25 grams of it at any one time, making it the rarest naturally occurring element in the periodic table. The world's smallest periodic table was engraved on a human hair. And it was one of my hairs. And I've got it here. We have about 100,000 hairs on our heads. A sea otter, on the other hand, has about 165,000 per square centimetre, helping to insulate them and keep them warm. One theory as to why we lost our hair is because we invented fire to keep warm. 
Since mastering the art of fire as a species, our cooking processes have evolved to such an extent that we can no longer extract enough energy from raw food. In fact, it's possible to starve off a diet purely of uncooked food. On average, we consume two and a half thousand kilocalories of energy every day. That's the equivalent of a hundred watt light bulb. However, an average sized adult contains seven quintillion joules of potential energy. That's enough to explode with a force of 30 very large hydrogen bombs. In your body, energy is stored as a compound called ATP. And each day, each of you makes your own body weight of ATP. Which is lucky because the muscles around your mouth use a huge amount of ATP every day. In fact, your jaw is the most commonly used joint in the human body. The mouth of a blue whale is so massive it can hold its own body weight in water. However, the longest animal in the world is not the blue whale. It's a type of marine ribbon worm which has been found to grow up to 55 metres long. And the largest living thing on Earth is a fungus living underground in Oregon which covers 10 square kilometres of turf. Beneath one square metre of turf there can be up to 200 worms recycling decaying matter. And as they're packed full of protein, they can also make a nutritious snack. The star-nosed mole is the fastest eating mammal in the world. It can identify something as edible and consume it in as little as 120 milliseconds, which is this long. Holy crap! The most incredible thing about the naked mole rat is that it never seemed to get the memo that it's a mammal. Oh, hey there, sexy. They are seemingly immune to cancer, they can live with almost no oxygen, their body temperature changes with the environment, and they are the longest living rodent and barely show any signs of aging during their lives. You would actually age slower sitting at the base of this tree than at the top. That's because the pull of Earth's gravity is stronger down here, and gravity slows time. But the difference is minuscule, just a few billionths of a second over an 80-year period. And thanks to the effect of gravity, the theoretical maximum height for a tree is between 122 and 130 metres high. All the branches of a tree at each stage in its height, if you put them together, would be equal in thickness to the trunk. This is known as Da Vinci's rule, and it's awesome. So that is why we think this world is awesome. But what about you? What are your favourite awesome facts? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Earth Unplugged.